Hey everybody, Kevin Allman with AllmanPhotoVideo.com here. And I'm coming to you today with the biggest facepalm moment I've ever had before in my life. Here lately, if you've been watching the blog, you've probably noticed that I have been looking for a new camera. The reason why I've been looking for a new camera is because I'm currently shooting with the T4i. The last time I took it out on a shoot, it had some major freezes on me that it really disturbed me and I was really concerned about it that uh, that it was something to do with the camera. Well, come to find out that it wasn't to do with the camera at all, it was me. All cameras have some sort of a buffer on them and this camera is not any different than those other cameras. Inside of the viewfinder, if you look down at the bottom right hand corner of the viewfinder of a T4i, you'll notice these little numbers down there. Well, me being the big dummy that I am, I never looked at the user manual to see what those numbers indicated. Those numbers indicate how many shots you have inside of your camera before your buffer wears out or fills up. Uh, usually it's six, according to what I am now seeing. Uh, I've been in a big debate whether I should get a 60D, a 70D, a D7100 from Nikon, and I couldn't decide. But after doing some tests, I realized that I don't need a new camera. It was just me not knowing the capabilities or the limitations of my camera. So just a quick tip from me, before you go running off and trying to spend a bunch of money on a brand new camera, be sure you know the limitations and the capabilities of your camera. I'm keeping this sweet baby because there's absolutely nothing wrong with my T4i. I just was not fully aware of the capabilities. It's a fairly new camera to me. I'm still trying to learn how to use it a little bit. So that's why I didn't know and I was ignorant to the fact that the buffer when shooting raw only gives you six shots. It's going to be greatly more in the fact of a JPEG, in the fact, in the, ah, I can't speak, in the fact of JPEGs. Uh, but with raw, you only get sh six shots before your buffer fills up. Had I known that, had I figured it out beforehand, I would have known not to overrun my buffer. I lost critical shots because I didn't know the limitations of this particular camera, that I only had six shots in raw before my buffer filled up and I couldn't take any more shots. I had to wait for the buffer to clear or, or, to, or to write everything to the card rather. So uh, just keep in mind that if you're, keep, if you're using a camera like this, that you will experience problems like this. Yes, this is a lower end camera, but it still produces great photo and great videos. Um, so just keep that in mind, and I hope this helps. I'd like to, I wanted to share this with you so you don't have the exact same problem that I did. So this has been Kevin Allman with AllmanPhotoVideo.com.